In this video, I wanted to bring up a subject of auto tape tuning on Yamaha cassette decks. In this instance, I'm going to use a Yamaha KX380. And um, let's have a look how you're supposed to do this tape tuning. Now, let's say, for instance, we want to record on this cassette here. And we want to auto tune it. As far as um, the factory manual or the owner's books go, the bias and play trim should be on zero in the middle. Something that is not um, talked about in the owner's manual is the Dolby selector because. All you have to do is for tape tuning is press the record and the tape tuning button here for it start to go on and doing its recording its tones and tuning the tape. But it doesn't actually mention what you should set um, your Dolby for that tuning. And it should be set it off regardless of whether you want to make the recording with Dolby B, Dolby C, the tuning. Of the tape itself should be done with the Dolby off. So let's tune the tape, press the button, we've pressed the and now it's doing its tuning, it's flashing, it's recording some tones and uh, in a moment it's going to finish recording the tones, rewind and now it's going to uh, read those tones, see what it's recorded and um, adjust everything accordingly and now with the tape uh, tuning light on and recording on it's ready to record um, and now if you want to record in Dolby only now you press your Dolby B or Dolby C for recording you can also um, set up your bias adjustment now after it's been tuned after it tuned itself not before um, before that everything has to be on zero bias adjustment play trim screw and Dolby has to be off now I've recorded um, some music on here first with the auto tuning on and the second bit with the tuning off let's uh, put some play trim on it just a little bit like that and let's see how that uh, if it makes any difference to the sound also um, if you've got a light light coming up here with the for the auto tuning if you press that button again switches it off and you lose that memory that uh, you had on there for the previous tape and now you can tune your next tape or side b of the tape um, by going through the procedure again and auto tuning it um, and that cancels it out whatever you had uh, on there before now on this cassette tape I've recorded the first portion with the auto uh, tape tuning on and the second portion with auto tape tuning off um, let's have a look what difference in sound that makes
I hope this video makes it a bit clearer on how to use the auto tape tuning um, feature on your Yamaha cassette deck. Thanks for watching and see you next or the previous video.